What will humans look like in the future? Everyone is talking about AI, and there's no doubt we will have to coexist with superintelligences. But what about human evolution? What will we look like 10, 100, or even a thousand years from today? A good place to start is determining which technological route we will travel. Generally, most theories and science fiction novels play with two options, biological or synthetic. Biological would mean altering the human genome to whatever we desire, editing out diseases, cloning, you know, that kind of stuff. The other option is synthetic, merging biological and artificial components to enhance or replace our physical state. Personally, I think this is the more likely option of the two. There is so much taboo around genetic manipulation with, you know, Nazi eugenics and all. I find it hard for us to get over that moral dilemma. Not to mention, we're already doing it. Technically, humans have been cyborgs for a long time because the definition of a cyborg just requires physiological usage of a mechanical or electronic device. So wooden peg legs, ivory teeth, titanium hips, all counts in my book. Cyborg doesn't necessarily mean everyone installing a Terminator T-800 exoskeleton. It can be more subtle. Currently, we have an electronic device always with us that we use to communicate and navigate the world. It's called a cell phone. It is so involved in our daily life, it might as well be directly attached to us. And that's exactly what Neuralink, co-founded by Elon Musk, is working on. Surgically implanting chips into brains. They have the goals of communicating with nearby electronics or even curing paralysis by reconnecting the signals to where they need to go. Let's talk futurist. Now that we have narrowed the discussion to cybernetics as the most probable next step, realistically, where does that lead? We already see advanced prosthetics that react to brain waves allowing a disabled user to control artificial limbs with some accuracy. Synthetic skin and muscle attachments will be developed to permanently attach our new artificial appendages. This progress will bolster humanity's trust in cybernetics, and then once humans accept surgical attachment, this will open the door to countless opportunities. At first, it will be horrible accidents and birth defects that require surgical replacements diabetic amputations, combat quadriplegics, industrial accidents, but eventually, inevitably, the procedure will be so common people will consider unnecessary mechanical upgrades. Why stop at limbs when you could have it all? Hydraulic pistons that multiply strength, ocular implants so you can see different light wavelengths, nanobots that form any tool or shape, functional genitalia for experimentation, and all kinds of bizarre stuff. As most things science, the military is the one funding it all. Don't be surprised when elite super soldiers surgically equipped with the latest military gear start patrolling the streets. But maybe all this physical hardware is unnecessary? Too much biological risk and material consumption. If we already have a direct brain interface, maybe everything can be experienced virtually instead. Hyper-realistic worlds that are digitally linked to your brain, or even the real world but controlled remotely through mechanical bodies. Pleasure, pain, any sense or emotion. Metaverse on steroids. And we are just hooked up to machines all day living our lives out on the virtual space. Maybe we even have machines that pump nutrients into our guts, keeping our biological bodies well-maintained. Physically speaking, our ecological footprint would be minimal if our calories are small and we no longer have a use for massive physical estates. Granted, this will take time to develop and accept culturally, but not all of us. There will be biological purists who view the natural human body as sacred, or at least something you shouldn't play around with. How do they fit in? Upgraded humans will be faster, smarter, and in most ways simply better than their non-upgraded counterparts. Class systems will form. Wealthy adopters who can afford the best gear will excel, while the poor are left behind. Hate groups form based on synthetic preference. Jobs will discriminate based on upgrade capabilities. And unions will form to protect those who abstain. The practical issues integrating cyborgs into society are endless. We may evolve so fast that normal humans will be considered a protected community. Sanctuaries for pure biologicals will pop up for people who want to remain untainted and natural. Eventually, society will move on and thrive in a golden technological age. We will redefine what it means to be human, or perhaps declare a new species altogether because at this point, what is human? So what comes next? Assuming we are still hacking away at ourselves, replacing limbs for shiny chrome, we won't have anything left to physically replace. Eventually, someone will want to go all the way. They will try to upload their consciousness into digital form. What does that even mean? Is it even possible? At that point, we will exist purely as energy and information, our only remaining physical tethers keeping us alive indefinitely, making us digital immortals. And if you only exist in digital form, maybe it's not so crazy to question whether you physically existed at all. Click on this next video to see how we may already be living in a synthetic reality. This could all just be one big simulation.